Hello everyone and welcome to this Mirai tutorial. In this tutorial we will learn about the data driven testing or data parameterization using the JSON. So let's begin. Data driven testing is a testing where you will be testing your functionality with a different set of data. So let me give you an example here. So for example if you want to test the registration of your application and you want to test the registration with a different set of data. So you will be doing the data driven testing. And similarly, if you want to test the login with the different users, then basically you are doing the data driven testing here. Now, uh, for this particular tutorial, I'm using this demo source application. So let me copy the URL from here and let's open this into the browser. And here you see that uh, they have actually provided the different usernames and the password. So this means that they have provided the multiple users. Now, what I need to do is that I need to test this login with different users. Okay, so we have this standard user, we have this performance glitch user, then uh, we have this problem user. Okay, so let me show you the difference here. So let me write this username here and let me copy the password from here and login. So this is a standard user, and you, you see that as soon as uh, we provided the username and password and clicked on logged in so it successfully logged in and the whole data is looking perfectly fine here okay so let me log out this one and now let's go with this problem user okay let me copy this one and now provide the password here so you see that here this there might be some kind of a problem right so it already says remove 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 and it's unable to remove this one right so this is a problematic user and even you are unable to add the the product to the cart okay so this is this that's why this is a problematic user now if i show you this performance glitch so let me provide the username here and password here so you will see that it will take some time to log into the application so this means that this user has a problem with the performance right so now what I need to do is that I need to create a test with data driven approach where I will be providing these three different users with their password and I will see that how my application will work when I will be logging into this application. Okay, so simply go to the this record here and here the first thing uh, what we need to do is that we need to create a test data folder. So inside the root folder, so inside the root folder, just click on this folder option here and name the folder as test data. You can name it any, but test data will, uh, you know, is more appropriate here. And inside this one, let's create one new file. So in this particular tutorial, we will be providing the data using the JSON. So, so I will name it as data dot JSON and here we need to provide the data so we will start with these large brackets and then now inside this one we have to provide the username password and let's see we will go with the expected outcome as well okay so here uh, let's go with the first username so username colon and the user itself okay so let me go back here let me log out this one from here so this is our first user so let's copy this one and paste it here and now let me copy this whole complete thing from here and paste it here so instead of username now we need to provide a password and the password is basically secret source so copy this one and paste this one here as well so you can also write the you know expected outcome here so let me copy this one so you want to assert the expected outcome so you can also do this so any kind of data like assertion data or the data which you need to provide so any 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 data which you think is useful for your testing so you can have this kind of data here so for example i'm writing here as expected outcome and the expected outcome is for example success 
login okay and we don't need to provide this one here so our first data is ready here so what i'll do is that i'll copy and make the other data here so now i need to change the username here because the password is same here so i will go with this problem user so let me copy this one and change the user here and now again i will copy this complete data from here and paste it here and now again i need to change the user here so user is performance page user so, so let me copy this one from here and change it here and now save this one so there's no error our data is ready in the form of json here now what we need to do is that we need to create a test and test will be created inside the test here so i will create a new file here and say data driven testing dot spec dot js and the first thing is that we need to import right we need to quickly write test so let me copy this one from here and paste it here okay now now what we need to do we need to import a file system because this file is actually in our system here so if i create a file here so this is basically in my system so if i go to my system here and if i go and check let me see the name of this project playwright npm and the location so let me see here so reveal in the file explorer okay so you see that uh, this is inside test data here and this is the file so this file is on my system so in order to you know get a data from this particular file i need to use a node file system which will help me to grab this file then i will parse this file and pass the data so these steps i need to do so let me go back here and simply what you need to do is that you need to import fs from so from you type fs so we you will see that we have a fs here so fs here is means we are talking about the file system so this this particular package is coming from the node itself now what i will do is that i will create variable called as const test data and the path now i need to first i need to provide a path of this particular test data so i need to tell this script where my test data file exists so simply it's under test 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 data test data slash data dot json so this is the path of my file now third step is that we need to read this file and we need to parse this data so that we can provide this data in our test still we haven't write any login script as of now so simply i will create const variable test data and this will have json dot parse so using this json dot parse i will parse this json and now inside its uh, function basically we need to read the file from the system and here we will be using this fs which is file system so file system dot we will say read file sync and inside this we need to provide the path so you can directly provide the path here as well but it's better to you know have a variable here so let me provide this one here and also what you can do is that sometimes your data might have some particular encoding so by default usually it's a utf8 so you can see that there are different base 64 binary so depending on the data you are using so you can select so right now i'm going with the default utf8 okay and now what this particular line is doing so we are reading this file then we are parsing this file into a json so 
and saving this into this particular variable. Why we are doing this? Why we are saving this in particular variable here? The reason is that there is multiple set of data, right? We have three different uh, users here. And in order to pass different set of data against login, I need to loop this through. So I need to iterate this one in order to iterate. Okay. So in order to iterate, I will go with for loop and I say const user of test data and here's the body of the loop and inside this I will create my test here so test and here uh, as you know that we need to provide the title of the test so I will say login with user and then followed by a sync and then we need to provide here a page fixture page fixture here and which will be followed by an arrow function so now this is the body of the test here as well and now inside this one we will be writing our test so await then page dot go page dot go to and here we need to provide the url and the url is this one so let's copy this one from here and paste it here this is the first step that we need to do we need to go to this particular application now so await then page dot fill and inside this one we need first we need to provide a locator followed by the value here okay so for for this username let's inspect here and if i go here in the selector hub so you see that we have a css selector hash username so let's copy this one from here and simply paste it here now here actually which because we are filling the data and this data needs to be coming from this test data right okay. so simply using this variable user i will grab the value so simply here so user dot user name so instead of hard quitting value we are just looping this one and these values are getting saved in this one and passing these values here and similarly let me copy this one from here and paste it here and now i need to inspect this password field and here the password is hash password this is a css selector again i will change this one here and here user dot we need to write a password and once we are done with this now we need to click on the login button so simply i will copy this one from here and paste it here so instead of the fill we just need to click so we will remove this part from here and paste dot click and inside this we will be passing over locator so you this is the, uh, another way and in our previous tutorial what we were doing is that we were using page dot locator finding a locator and then passing the action on this one but you can do this in this way as well okay now uh, simply go back here and inspect the login button so let me copy the, this relative CSS selector from here go back here and this is my selector. now we are uh, good to go and ready to execute this one and also uh, here you see that we are getting some error so error says that duplicate test title login with user and now why we are getting this one the, the reason is that we are executing login with the three different set of data so it will be counted as a three different test and three different tests having the same title is creating a problem here so how we can solve this one so simply what i will do is that instead of these cores i will use this one here 
and this one here and with this one uh, I will give the user so dollar curly braces so I will copy this user dot username so now it will make our test unique every time okay this is a very simple uh, you know hack for this one now you see that we don't have any error our test is ready our file is ready here and now um we can assert the values right so we can simply write our assertion here but let's execute this one and see what happens here so npx playwright test dash test then inside the test we have data driven testing and i will be running this in a added mode and now hit enter and see what happens here so you see that it in the console it says three users so first user second user and this is third performance user and here you see that the performance user has a bit slow in logging in but it's logging in successfully right and here if i go to this one so you see that three tests and three tests all are passed here so why these are three tests because of the three different set of data which are you know logging into the application and that was the reason we are getting a duplicate error here so in order to make it the test name unique here we are just passing a data here user dot username so every test has a different one so let's now open this particular report here and see and display right show dash report so it will open the report here and here you see that the name of the test is different here login with the user standard user login with the user problem user login with the user because we are passing the url for every iteration and which makes this test unique it's not making it duplicate okay and here again you see that we have all the details against each of the test here so you can see all the details here so all three all pass you can open any of these and here in the fill it's just working absolutely fine then it's filling this one and then it's clicking on this one so that's how you can make your test data driven or you can parameterize your test using these kind of a data thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial